Hello and welcome to another episode of Lunch Break Rips with Delo. In this series, I do a quick rip of a retail product for my personal collection, but also for your viewing pleasure. Uh, in this video, I'll be opening a new to me product, something I've not opened before. It is a 2022 USA Baseball Blaster Box. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I can pull out of that, hoping for one of the top young prospects um maybe even a surprise autograph but let's see what we got all right so like i said i've not opened this before um at all um you know not for myself in the past or in a card break which um if you're not aware or familiar with my channel um part of what i do here on the channel is card breaks um for more information on that uh i've got a link down in the description um that you can click on but just head over to my website which is delocardbreaks.com and um whenever i have a new card break ready to go i've got all the information posted on there there's a lot of different information about card breaks in general and you know as, as well as information about my next upcoming one um, it's always going to be on there. One thing I do want to highlight is I've got a page on there that talks about becoming an insider, um, which is just a group that I have for sharing information and, um, you know, getting info on the breaks early before the general public, you know, like in a video like this or post it on my website. And I also have different uh, perks that I will be giving out as, you know, reward i guess for being an insider i am looking to grow the card breaks and um you know it starts with growing the insider group i think so i would love for you to head over check that out again it's dlocardbreaks.com and uh, you can find all the information on there but i would certainly love to have you joining in with us on the card break so um would love for you to check that out but um this will be my first time opening the Panini USA Baseball um, product at all. I've not opened this. I've I've actually even hardly seen anybody open it at all. So um, haven't really got much of a look at it. Um, I have seen a little bit of it, and I do know that um, you can get some of the top prospects um, out of this product. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. And um, normally I do go over what we can expect to pull, um, you know, what's listed on the outside of the box. So here's our blaster box. We do have six cards per pack with six packs in the box for a total of 36 cards. And we are looking for two autograph or memor memorabilia cards out of here, um, as, as Panini does per box on average. So not guaranteed to get two autos or mem cards but uh, that's what we're looking for and uh, you know it does say look for autographs from some of the top prospects in baseball so that's definitely what we're looking for and it just kind of repeats it on the other side so no other additional information or you know different um things to look for so there's our six packs let's just rip right into it these are kind of like a chrome type of card um, which is which is nice um, and um, you know hopefully we get a nice prospect uh, auto out of here at least one that would be really sweet all right so here we go we've got Henry Allen and as you can see it's got like what team they were on so this is all USA it's not related to any certain team at all so Henry Allen here was on the 15U national team. We've got collegiate national team here for Cole Kirschseiper. That's a fun one. Here we've got a pumped up Michael Torres, 15U national team. I'm not sure if you can get any parallels out of this. That'd be kind of cool too, but there's Brooks Lee, collegiate national team. 18U team, Andrew Kaminsky. 
Dutkanich? Dutkanich? Not sure. We've got Gavin Cross, Collegiate National Team. <clears throat> the foil print for the name and everything it makes it really hard to see. Like it makes it hard to read, especially with the, uh, the reflection of the lighting and stuff. So that's the only unfortunate thing, I think. Um, but we'll work around it. We'll do the best we can here. If you hold them at an angle, you can read it easier. There's Carson Bowen, 18U national team. We've got Hunter Barco on the collegiate team. And this is the guy I was looking for. I was hoping I would pull this one. Jackson Holiday, your 2022 number one overall pick for the Baltimore Orioles. His dad, of course, Matt Holiday. As you can see, this one is the 18U national team. So I'm very happy to get that, that card. This is really the main card I was hoping to get was a Jackson Holiday, and I was really hoping that it would be an autograph card. But I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve it up. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with my channel and the way I do it, uh, anything nice that we pull gets sleeved and holy crap. I don't know why that was so hard. <laughs> anything nice that gets pulled out of, uh, you know, any pack openings or uh, breaks or anything like that gets sleeved up and staged right up here. And anything really nice uh, goes on the far right in the MVP cam. So see what we can pull. I like that one a lot, but uh, it's not the autograph or it would be over there. Here we've got the 18U national team, 2021 checklist okay so there's the team checklist for 18 u national team there we go next up is 15 u team we've got cal miller and followed by jace jung collegiate national team let me know in the comments oh this might have a mem card in it feels a little thicker let me know in the comments if you've opened any of this, if you've pulled anything nice, what you think of the product, anything like that. I'm always interested to to hear from the viewers and see, you know, what you have pulled and what you like about uh, what gets opened here on these lunch break rips. All right, next up we've got Carson Wisenhunt for the collegiate team. There's definitely a thick card in here and it's coming up let's work around it there's luis rodriguez very nice from the back we've got drew jones there's another one like that one for those of you that aren't aware drew jones is andrew jones's son aaron nixon on that one Uh, Jacob Berry collegiate team and let's flip that over because it was backwards there we go Cruise Schoolcraft and it is ooh okay how about a autograph mem a two for one special there that's really cool was not expecting that at all. 311 out of 399. So it is a numbered player patch. Very cool. It doesn't say which team he is from. He looks really, really young though. Game worn or used. Very nice. Heck yeah. Not expecting that at all, but that's what makes this this type of thing fun to do, is whenever you do pull the uh, the unexpected. So we've got a, a game worn uh, patch auto. Very nice for Cruise Schoolcraft. Not only that, but a really cool name too. Heck yeah! Get the thick sleeves out and get them sleeved and 
top loaded and I think we've got our most valuable pool right there Cruise Schoolcraft definitely be hanging on to that and seeing if he turns out to be a top player in the league at all all right there we go sleeve top loaded and on the MVP cam we go give you guys an up close and personal view of that heck yeah all right we went through the rest of the cards in that so that's our first autograph so we've got either another autograph or another mem coming still that was just the second pack that was the third pack so here's pack number four still got one more hit coming all right we've got nate savino tristan bristow devero harrison now that's a name for you devero harrison very cool this has got to be really cool for these guys to kyle teal you know especially like the 15 new guys to have a sports card already ethan puig 15 u team and matthew wyatt on the collegiate not a lot of big names not names you'll recognize yet um but definitely some potential especially on you know what we have in the mvp uh on the mvp cam at the moment any kind of cards like that definitely worth hanging on to and seeing if they do turn out to be you know an mlb star or, or anything it looks like we've got at least another mem card here and we've got a thick one there in the middle so let's see what we got we've got brandon sprout connor griffin and let's pull from the back we'll save that one for the end elijah green we've got dylan cruz another nice baseball name there last one from the back is another elijah green did we get two elijah greens different images that one's number 93 that one's number 55 very interesting not sure what that's all about but two elijah greens and gerardo gonzalez on the mem card so there we go gerardo gonzalez patch card and it is it is game worn so there we go very nice i like it overall it's kind of kind of a fun rip just getting those two guaranteed hits makes it more fun whenever you don't know the players <laughs> in the product that uh that you're ripping packs out of so that was good on panini to uh you know to do that and make it make it a little more enjoyable that way you know look give you something to look for anyways very cool all right last pack here should all just be base players that we don't know unless there's a surprise which no one panini there won't be all right here we go we've got brock jones cade fisher Oh, there's a red. All right, that's kind of cool. Walker Jenkins on the red parallel. 
Not numbered, but we'll take it. And uh, just one more thing that wasn't expecting. Very nice. Just a few cards left here. Robert Moore. It's another Drew Jones. And Logan Tanner on the back. So we've got some nice, uh, some nice prospect names that I recognize, some guys that I know. I don't remember seeing if Drew Jones um, got drafted or not, but um, once again, same player, two different cards. Very close, but um, definitely different. Let's see if the numbers are the same. 60 and 61. So, kind of interesting thing that Panini did with that, but um, we'll take it. Not too shabby. So two Drew Jones cards, one Jackson Holiday that was the guy I was looking for. We got the red foil, the player worn patch, and then of course, in your upper right hand corner on the MVP cam, we got the Cruz Schoolcraft player worn patch auto card. So all in all, a fun rip. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you had a, a lot of fun watching it. And uh, that's gonna do it for this lunch break rip. If you enjoyed this video and you like this uh, series, uh, you might go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And that way you'll know when I post new videos, not only in this series, but um, you know when I do my breaks, uh, I do those live here on the channel. Um, and just any other video I might post, uh, I'm getting into the, the YouTube shorts game and, um, you know, just all kinds of stuff, um, you know, doing what I can to stay consistent and grow the channel up. So subscribes help a lot. I would appreciate that. Um, and other than that, hit that like button on your way out and I will see you next time.